A suspect shot trying to break into a man's apartment is still recovering today. The shooting happened around 1 a.m. Sunday morning in Carmichael. The sheriff's office says the suspect tried to force his way into the apartment, saw the resident inside and started shooting. The resident then fired back, fearing for his safety and knocking the suspect down. And new tonight, we're hearing from that man who says he was just protecting his family when a person shot into his home. The suspect, Alonzo Brown, will be booked as soon as he is released from the hospital. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live for us now. Roxanne, what's the message from the family and the man being called a hero? Laura, they're crediting the family's quick response for being able to make it out alive after Alonzo Brown shot into this home. They say that if the father didn't defend his family, things could have ended really badly. At 1 a.m. early Sunday, Alonzo Brown began knocking at the door of this apartment in Carmichael. In the surveillance video, the scenario quickly escalates to him trying to beat down the door of a family he doesn't even know. The family who did not want to appear on camera says it then led to gunshots. Shot three holes into our bed where I was laying. One, of, one right above the head of the bed where my pillow was. And by the time my husband had put out his four rounds, two hit him, he dropped and two went into the tree behind us. Uh, behind him. According to the Sacramento Sheriff's Office, Brown was looking for his girlfriend at the apartment. Alonzo Brown started tracking his girlfriend or what he thought was accurately tracking on the cell phone, led him to an apartment complex on Fair Oaks Boulevard on the 8600 block. From there, he started uh, banging on the door, tried to kick the door in, was unsuccessful, broke a window, saw somebody inside and tried to shoot at him. Amar Gandhi says luckily the family's father, also a veteran, was legally armed and fired back to defend his family. I know for a fact if my husband was not armed at the time, it would have been a totally different scenario. We would all be dead. And although California does not have a stand your ground law, Sacramento attorney Mark Reichel says there's a version of it where residents can protect themselves. But there are four things that you need to follow. Number one, that the threat is imminent, okay, that it's not in the future, you know, imminent, that it's now. Number two, that there's violence, definite serious risk of great bodily injury or real harm coming to you. OK, number three, that they've come in the house or are entering the house and then finally use no more force than is reasonably necessary. The family says they have felt safe the entire time they've lived at the apartments, but because they were prepared, they were able to stop Brown from doing further damage. This could have happened anywhere at any time to anybody. Um, it doesn't happen just because, you know, it, it happened because of the person who he was. The attorney we talked with says that if you do not have surveillance cameras, now is the time to get them. That way, if anything happens, if anything happens, it's not he said. She said there is evidence to prove who was in the right or the wrong. Chris, Laura. Yeah, it's good to keep in mind, Roxanne. And some doorbell cameras cost less than 100 bucks. Roxanne Elias, thank you for that update.